Hi guys, it's Christy. I'm talking about the book Fastest Way by Dave Asprey. The last several videos I've been talking about fasting. You can do it and we can make it easy for you. So I recommend you read the book. If you're not going to read the book, watch the videos. They're short, three to five minutes. Watch them as you make your coffee in the morning. Watch them as you brush your teeth. You, as you do uh, your three to five minute stretches in the morning, you can listen to a video. So just stack it, stack it with something else you're already doing. That's the best way to create habits is can I connect this thing that I want to do with something else I'm already doing. So fasting, let's talk about it. This video, I just want to give you some interesting thoughts on fasting, meaning just some, a few random tips. So a couple things. Um, one, if you're going to exercise, the best time to exercise is at the end of the fast. So ideally, of course, you've eaten dinner the night before, you sleep, you get up the next morning. You may want to, and your schedule may not allow it, but the best time to exercise is let's say eight or nine or 10 the next morning. Most of us are working during that time, so you might be exercising earlier. But there is reasons why exercising at the end of the fast, one, it finishes using up the uh, glucose that's in our, in our liver and our muscles, or that's the stored glycogen. It boosts our ketones. Um, now, if it's not possible, then you can work out when, when you can. But keep that in mind if you've got some flexibility regarding your workout timing. And then after the workout, that's when you refeed. That's when you have your first meal after your fast. Ideally, that first meal should be fat and protein, a lot of fat and protein. Maybe if you've worked out really hard, maybe a little bit of carbohydrate. Ideally, during the day, if you save any carbohydrates you're going to have to till the evening, it's a better time to consume those. So uh, if you're, if, if you're the case, and it may not be for everyone, but if you're moving into ketosis or trying to boost your ketones a little bit, then save your carbohydrates for the evening. And it's also going to help you sleep. It may also help, help a person go to sleep. So those are just a few tips. Also, keep in mind that 15% of our thoughts throughout the day, according to some studies, um, are on food, on the food we're eating. So if we can take that 15% of preoccupation with food and put it towards things we actually want to get done, our productivity will increase dramatically. We'll get, we'll get more done. So by not thinking about what am I going to have for breakfast, uh, then it can really move us forward. We're not doing the dishes, the breakfast dishes. We're not thinking about food. Also, we may not, if, as we start to intermittent fast, we start to regulate our blood sugar and then we control hunger. So even if it's coming up upon noon and you're going to, you know, you could eat lunch, but I'm not starving for lunch. Now I can better control. Well, what if I didn't eat lunch? Maybe it's not that big a deal. I don't have to eat lunch. So we're able to better control our blood sugar and control the food, right? It is not a big deal if I'm not eating. My body is a great signal that now your body is starting to burn your own fat that we've been carrying around. And the reason we carry it around is to use it. We store it on our body so that if I don't have food, I can use fat. So it helps us tap in to that fat we've been carrying around waiting for time to use it. So now is the time. And we're going to prime our body by intermittent fasting to use the fat that we've stored just for that occasion. It's also going to give us a little more brain power and reduce the amount of thoughts we have around food as well as the amount of time that we use preparing those foods. So thanks for watching this video. I have a few more things to say on the subject. I know you're going to rock it. I'll be curious to hear 
if you're trying it out and how what your experience is. Thanks for watching.